Hey guys, this is Dark Places 28. I'm coming at you with my first commentary for Eptic Gaming as a director. Uh, excited to be a part of the Eptic Gaming group. Uh, I love what they're doing with it. Um, sorry it's taking so long to get my intro out there. I've had a lot of trouble with uh, my Sony Vegas crashing on me, uh, getting the right format, uh, everything. <laughs> so hopefully this works out well for you guys. Uh, this is a game of Kill Confirmed that I played with uh, Buck Sugar Free, Joker, and also Brittany. Um, she joined us with one of her friends this night. Um, it was great to have her play with us for once. Uh, she was running that one bar pro, baby. Um, she's a boss at that one bar uh, with the connection, with the host being from the U.S., I suppose. But um, anyway, uh, there's a failed throwing knife uh, hit the railing anyway um, yeah like I said I'm dark places 28 I am in boring town USA uh, in Illinois in the Midwest just sitting here with my dogs right now uh, they're looking at me like I'm crazy but um, yeah so I got involved with uh, Epic Gaming now I started out playing first person shooters with uh, Modern Warfare 2 I uh, did not throw knives at all and then Black Ops came around and started playing around with the Tomahawk and it was so much fun um, I would go on the Call of Duty forums and just post a lot of stuff and I came across a guy named Buck Nasty which as you guys know as Buck Sugar Free um, we joined up played one game and then he introduced me to Tomahawk Tater and Tomahawk Tater uh, put a group together called Team Tomahawk uh, a bunch of guys just throwing tomahawks around playing certain games with tomahawks and knives only and that was a lot of fun uh, and then once Modern Warfare 3 came around Tomahawk Tater took it to a new level and put together Eptic uh, Gaming with Gripfast um, it was supposed to be just like a little mess around joke kind of thing where you don't care about your kill death uh, but it's turned into what it is now um, with Unthrown and a lot of other people involved from all different kinds of countries. I love that. I love that we have people from uh, the UK, from Australia, um, from other places I'm sure of, but uh, and from the US. But I, ju I just love the guys. Uh, I, <laughs> I, Wiggy, you crack me up, dude. Uh, listen to some of your your commentaries. It's, it's just <laughs> it brings a laugh to me so so much. Um, and then grip fast. <laughs> Dude, if I'm having a bad night, usually you can make me laugh. Um, the troll out stuff we do with Tom Octator, you guys should check out. As look at this, look at this guy. What, I believe I can fly. That's what he thought. Try to jump over me. Come on, dude. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, I'm playing here on Kill Confirmed, and as you can see, my, my let's talk a little about my gameplay, so you guys know about that. Uh, I'm pretty much like the other guys in the Eptic Gaming uh, when we get together. We stay on the move the whole time, and here comes a funny moment for you guys. Check that out. Jump back, throw the knife, hit him. And then this guy, I don't know if he doesn't have a mic uh, with a good headset. Uh, I don't know what he's doing here. I'm jumping behind him, trying to give him every possibility of seeing me or hearing me. And I just stab him right in the face. Uh, I if you guys have ever played with me I'm the guy that uh, I'll be quiet the whole time and then you'll hear some chuckling <laughs> some giggling and it's usually something like that happens where I just I teabag someone or I hit someone with a a long throwing knife that it just it cracks me up I don't know why it it's just so funny hitting somebody with a throwing knife or messing with people I love to do it uh, I love that the diff is putting together a series with trolling or not trolling but uh stalking because it's so much fun to try to do that to people uh, during game that's what this thing is for for fun you know um, people that play this game for kill death just uh, I don't understand it you know you're not gonna get anything out of it you, you don't you don't want any prizes for being good with uh, kill death usually you have to usually those people that have a high kill, de kill death have either one crappy internet or two they just camp in corners and don't play the objective. Um, I play a lot of domination uh, and when people don't play the objective it really gets on my nerves. Um, 
you'll look at the lobby leaderboards and see these guys they got you know six seven thousand kills and then they only have you know, what is Brittany doing Brittany what are you doing you want me right into that claymore come on anyway um you know not playing the objective w what are you doing if you have seven thousand kills and, and two hundred captures you're, you're obviously sitting in a corner or sitting somewhere not near a flag aiming down your sights uh, getting kills for kill streaks. I don't know how many games we've won uh, when people get a lot of kill streaks. Oh, I wanted to hit that guy so bad he's sniping down there. Anyway, kind of like that. But um, I've won so many games where people have camped like that and they have non-stop air streaks uh, but we're capturing flags. Uh, I capture a lot of flags. That's what I really try to do. Uh, that's what the point of the domination is. Um, at some point I probably try to come with a video that shows you know how to improve at domination because I think I'm pretty good at it I don't maybe others have other opinions but you know I'm good at mixing throwing knives having fun with actually trying to win the game too you know I am also the guy that uh, carries a stinger around for the group if you're ever playing with us you might have heard or if you ever have played with us you've probably heard Bucks whine at some point and it's usually because the attack helicopter pave low Predator missile, whatever, what have you, is targeting him, <laughs> and it's it's usually going for him first. I have no idea why, but it just does. Um, anyway, I like to take all those down for him, you know. <laughs> and if I'm not to it quick enough, he's usually on me about it. Uh, if I'm in a bad mood, like he found out one night, I said, "No, I'm not doing it tonight." <laughs> but usually, I do. Uh, I think I have over a thousand uh, air streaks taken down, so that was pretty cool. I got that title for that. But, you know, that's a little about me. I uh, play for the team. I'm a team player. I'll sit around in your care package, wait for you to get it, try to take people out. Uh, you know, I like to win. But, um, anyway, as this game's kind of winding down here to a close, you know, go check out Epton Gaming, man. It's awesome. Uh, go check out Tomahawk Tater's channel, uh, Grip Fast. I uh, also want to give a shout out to Feral Party Kids. He doesn't get a lot of love. Uh, much on these videos and uh, that dude just brings a laugh to us also he says some random ass shit I don't know and also check out Buck Sugar Free uh, if you haven't noticed that dude has the best throwing knives and tomahawks around um, if if the game comes with some random shit to throw he could definitely do it and he could probably bank it I'm sure off any surface uh, so go check out his tutorial if you want to learn how to throw banks uh, bank shots Check out Epic Gaming, like I said, because it's getting really big. Uh, subscribe, comment, give us some questions. You know, uh, we could use questions. We wanna, we wanna know what you wanna post. We're here for you. We wanna see what you guys want on YouTube, and we'll try to get it together for you. Also, give me some questions. I, you know, tell me what you wanna see. Uh, I don't have a lot of ideas for stuff to post. There's so much that's overused. I wanna come up with something new. You know, uh, so. Send me in some questions, send me some comments, what you want to see. I'll be happy to uh, respond and get that on there for you. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And after talking for this long, uh, I think I'm going to need to go throw up, dude.